right now. You two rest while I go out and get the supplies I need. Oh, fascinating. Fascinating. <laughs> Relax, Squish. You got yourself all tied up in knots. But, Mr. Bumpy, she has the wrong instruction manual. In fact, she has five or six wrong instruction manuals. I know. I ate the real ones. All of them. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Sorry, buddy. I know I should have saved some of you, but play along with it. The poor kid's got her heart set on this doctor business, and I don't want to let her down. How bad could this be? I'll need this. And this. And this. And this. And this. There. That should just about do it. No. What's taking her so long, Mr. Bumpy? She's probably out in the kitchen eating ice cream on a stick so she can make tongue depressors. <laughs> what a cute kid. Here I am. I had no idea assembling the tools of the doctor's art would be so complicated. But now I'm ready. I know. It's awe-inspiring. That's... Doctor equipment? Of course. It's exactly what the manual's called for. If this doesn't cure you, nothing will. Shall we begin? Let's see. Insert CO2 detector. Don't you just love these technical doctor terms? Who wants to volunteer? Okay, then, Squishington, you're it. Ensure that inflation is at least 35 pounds per square inch. Check for root rot. If root rot is discovered, add peat moss and activated charcoal immediately. Then stuff with onions, garlic, and finely diced carrots. To add that je ne sais quoi zest, add several gallons of apple cider vinegar. And finally, signal strength must be tuned within limits set forth at the International Broadcasters Conference. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's it! Squishington, you'll be happy to hear that my tests show you're in absolutely perfect health. And you'll receive your smog certificate, too. You can get up now. Squishington? Squishington, you can get up now. Hello, loyal listeners. It is my great pleasure to give you indigestion. Cure the... News on the hour. Tornadoes devastate this hilarious tune from France. Jerry Lewis. And Boris Yeltsin saying... Elvis has left the building and a... Test of the just-in-case-of-an-emergency broadcast beep. This is only a test beep. Beep. Ooh, the radio's on. But no one's at home. Oh, how could this happen? I followed all the instructions down to the itsiest, bitsiest comma. Snap out of it, Squishington! <laughs> Mr. Bumpy, did you do something to my instruction manuals? What makes you ask that? Caution. The Easy Does It Doctor Correspondence course is not intended to replace six years of medical school. Doctors are professionals. Whatever you do, don't try this at home. We mean it. How could you? How could you? Oh, it was really easy. I ate the first manual, and then the rest went down in no time. I'll never practice medicine again. <laughs> what a fool I am! <laughs> Come on, buddy. Talk to me. We apologize. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Technical difficulty, technical difficulty, technical difficulty. Oh, no. Any second now, he's going to fry. Molly. You got to save him. You got to, you got to, you got to. But I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm a sham, a fraud, a lie. I'm not a doctor. I'm a comfort doll. But you're the only one who can possibly perform mouth to monster resuscitation! Because it ain't gonna be me. Please, Molly! It's the only way!
<sighs> Dr. Cuddle, not here. There are people watching. You see, I told you you could do it. You were right, Mr. Bumpy. Okay, Squishington, prep the patient for the instruction manual ectomy. <laughs> Nurse, pliers. No, 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 no. 